for tonight? I said, are you ready for tonight? You sound like you are. Did you bring your dancing shoes to me? Dancing shoes on? Let me mention tomorrow night, we got another great event right here in this auditorium. Bridgette Gabrielle from Act for America is going to be here. She's one of the leading authorities on radical Islam. She was here about a year ago. We had a great crowd. And I tell you, the information she's going to be sharing tomorrow night, you need to hear. That's 7 o'clock tomorrow night right here in the theater. It's absolutely free. People from all over the area come. I mean, they're coming in from all parts of California. So, again, I encourage you, come see her tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Jim Gabrielle with Act for America that will be here. All right. I'm not going to delay. We're going to turn this group loose. But first of all, we want to pray. We want to ask God to come into this place in a mighty way tonight. Amen? Amen. Why don't you stand to your feet as we honor the Lord? Let's bow our heads and let's invite the presence of God in a special way. Bow your heads with me right now. Father, thank you for tonight. Thank you, God, for what you are going to do in this place. We recognize it is not by might nor by power, but it is by your Spirit. And so tonight, Lord God, we invite your Spirit in in a powerful way. We open up our lives to you. And Lord, before we leave here tonight, we will have had an encounter with you. And lives will be changed and lives will be transformed. Not by the words of man, not by the talent of man, but by the touch of your hand. So Father, tonight we give ourselves to you. We enter your gates with thanksgiving and with praise. And we give you all the honor and all the power and all the glory. In the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus. Pray, just keep praying.
Lance here at West Coast back in like 2000. Get a little feedback here, I'm sorry. <laughs> back in like 2005, was it about? And he came to our booth and he goes, Man, your music's just, I've been wanting this uh, so blessed. And he just became just so loud for Masada. He was just behind our ministry. And uh, so he started showing up just being a volunteer at all our events. We were doing 30, 40, 50 events. Sometimes we didn't even know how to keep our day job. And uh, Anthony would be right there at the CD booths and his wife would come down to San Diego, L.A., wherever we were. And I loved his heart. I saw I mean, I, the Lord brought me a brother with an awesome servant's heart. And I'm sharing this because for the men in ministry to understand this is where it all starts. And being servant. Amen? And about a year down the road, I needed another back, another singer. Like a sing leads and goggles. And somebody says, well, Anthony sings. I says, Anthony sings? I'm like, well, I don't know this. I'm the last one to find this out. He shows up at all my shows and all my... And uh, I call him up one day. I was leaving L.A. And I says, hey, I'm driving through. Are you home? Right, Anthony? And I says, I heard you sing. He goes, well, I, 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 <laughs> And I says, well, I'm driving through. Get your, get your vocals ready. I got to listen to you. If you're good, you're past. If you're not, well, you're out. I'm just straight up. I'm sorry. But I says, I already know by the Spirit, you're in. I just knew. I hadn't even heard of you. I listened to one verse and I says, what are you talking about? Be at the next rehearsal. He was like, what? God works through humility and servanthood and faithfulness to the anointing of God. He wasn't serving Messiah. He saw the anointing. He, wasn't, he saw where God was moving and wanted to be a part of what God is doing. Just like you're here with Pastor Franklin and his wife. You see God moving here. So dig in with all your might and humility and servanthood. Because you're not serving man, you're serving God. Faithful in the little and the least. And you'll be faithful over much. Amen. And I'll testify about Brother Rico how he came later. Because he's also an incredible story. Give it up for Brother Rico on the vocals. Uh, an incredible song because it was one of my favorite songs growing up. In fact, to my right here, I just got to throw this note in. David Mendoza on bass, we went to high school together, played in our first bands together when we were playing rock and roll, Santana, Tower Power. We went to the same high school, and just, and here he is years later. Awesome man. Give it up for David Mendoza in the house. This next song we used to play together, you know? So I says, Lord, I, I'd love to be able to get the permission to record this song, but I know this is in your hands, and I, I was sharing with Pastor. So we have to get permission before you can change the lyrics to record them. And this was the third top radio song in all history, and I knew it would be a little tough battle, but nothing's too hard for the Lord, amen? Yeah. This is the song, and God gave it to Masada to give back to you. In Jesus' name.